Hello guys, in this video I am going to tell you about the Android Ice Cold project I mean the AICP ROM uh, AICP ROM which is uh, for the Galaxy Mega 5.8 and you can use it for uh, Galaxy Mega 5.8, i9152 and i9150 both versions So let me reboot into recovery And yeah, I am testing the Lineage OS and I am uploading that video also See next next videos on that also that only so let it reboot into recovery so the rom has booted into the recovery mode and now we are going to install or oh sorry first we will take backup so you can backup the whole rom by selecting everything selecting storage as your micro sd or select the data to selecting storage as micro sd and then you can swipe to backup i already got the backup and i'll wipe advanced wipe and go to dalby cache system preload data in our storage i wipe a clean uh, sorry i do a clean wipe every time install a new rom because it is safe and you get no issues regarding it now So it will take some seconds only, 2, 3, 4 seconds. Okay, everything is done. Now let's go to install. It's very easy. You can see the AICP or the file. This is the latest one, it's the last one. So this is running on Marshmallow. I thought some uh, the developer will go to Nougat. But now this is the last one only. Because uh, CM Sanogen mod has ended. So this is the last one, it's fully stable, very fast, you can use this as your daily ROM, as your base ROM and it's very awesome, like the resurrection remix, it has got many fun more functions, so let me tell you here, okay, I will, uh, you can add the Pico G apps, I don't have them now, so, can flash it, I'm just testing here, if you are using this ROM, you can flash it, I've taken this backup, this whole backup in which I have the Google apps but because of some reasons the SD card in some other phone and that phone is not charging now so I cannot go there and remove it because there also I have put that uh, uh, expandable storage yeah, the adaptable storage I have so this is a very quick installation this is the first time I see very quick installed and let's reboot I will show you the boot logo is same and the boot animation is changed as the ASCP has its own boot animation it's not the same boot animation it's ASCP's uh, custom boot animation and it's very awesome as you can see but I think this boot animation is very large and it should be like this uh, medium one it should look more realistic you know, materialistic yeah it's like minimal boot animation yeah I love minimal boot animations So let this ROM boot up and I will let meet you in the home screen. Now it's finishing boot and before this it will optimize some apps like I only flash the uh, ROM ASCP ROM so it will optimize only 83 apps like all that. And if you are adding some G apps or Pico G apps you have to select the ARM version go into the uh, open G app store and go into ARM version and install pico or micro with some small or mini thing. so this is the home screen exactly like this cm13 only and this is a marshmallow rom but it's very awesome you can also uh, modify this too and you can also modify this rom to uh, means, uh, you can modify this rom to android nougat using some Android NFI settings also uh, and means this is a exposed module the Android NFI is exposed module can use the exposed modules to uh, have assistant on this you can install Google Pixel and as I have showed you in that uh, video the Google Pixel UI experience on Resurrection Remix ROM you can experience that same on this ROM too so let's go here inside so it toggles everything is working and i don't have the phone data for this can edit tiles here and add many more so there are many more and as you can see ambient display and there are many many things to add so this is like the resurrection rom only 
and get everything working all sim cards so here is the yeah, ACP extra option and here are many more options I will show you later but let's go first to about phone you can see a hardware info too and it shows our so hardware info here and shows front facing camera 1 megapixel but by default it is a 1.9 megapixel and here we see build number you can enable the developer options and you see settings you can have the advanced reboot and this ROM is having root access with apps and adb the one i have uh, uh, now tested the lineage os i will be uploading that video also soon that has only root access like uh, adb only and the rom does not any root access you can modify the recovery also oh no oh in that lineage OS you can uh, modify recovery this is the ascp version so it's something different and gives some vibration also so this is very different from other lineage OS ROMs and the same ROM so as you can see this is the default home screen we see and drawer is also same no changes applications are every same and we get these documents which directly take us here and it shows us downloads and everything is same and we get the theme chooser too so you can apply themes here and this theme chooser is the old one so you can select what to apply so this is very okay i don't like the new one because like in the customizations we cannot set the navigation bar you have to select the navigation bar theme first and then apply other customizations so that was very un it's unacceptable by me okay let me show you the ASP extras here so we have to uh, you can choose remember so you can always grant it like this and here are some downloads we can go to download play change log of the roms when you download and update so first we'll go to display and animation is a toast animation power menu animation you can also set like the reselection roms only how the power menu will appear and i use uh, more like the rotation so you can see here how many of yours very awesome <laughs> so i love this and uh, by default the uh, animation uh, duration scale is set to uh, 0 0.5 you can change it in the development settings i will show you here later you can see list with animation system animations and everything you get here status bar you can customize the status bar which icons to show and which not and how to change some icons you will see the notification drawer also we get more customization for the notification drawer and everything we can see here the recent spanner you can add a clear all buttons to uh, and also memory bar to know how memory is remaining so this is very known options for the uh, uh, AICP ROMs and yeah very awesome the recent bar button was all over and this rom is at all like smooth only no issues and the animations are also set like default so here yeah see recent in full screen so it will avoid the uh, status bar and your <coughs> status bar and your uh, navigation bar lock screen yeah you can also set the navigation bar it's same like the resurrection remix rom and go to multi sheet and anyway i cannot see the multi window but you can enable it from developer settings i will show you yeah hello is also here panel pawn you can change some panel settings blurry UI. yeah so in this settings i recommend you not to use this because while i was testing this rom for the first time yes yeah, the latest build uh, and i increased some uh, blurry ui and then i got a system ui stock then it rebooted then again i got the home screen again it rebooted again home screen and yeah boot loop there so do not try this or you need to install this rom again so if you want to uh, really turn it uh, into a day and want to work fast and have this rom used please do not turn this on it's only experimental various shit we get okay various shit we get disable force close notifications so if any app force closes it won't show any notification 
and his screenshot sound three finger gesture media scanner behavior on boot boot dialog also you can set system app remover you can uh, delete some apps and add your google apps also if you love the so here's the system UI tuner and it's experimental so it these are some common settings we get in cm also add up is also there you can download yeah you need to first allow the permissions of root and then download files uh, you need some internet connection here and wake lock blocker you can also set wake lock blocker and customize that according to your settings lock that shit so so you need to double tap and navbar you also get the navbar here going to smart bar settings you can toggle here some animations going to themes you can the theme manager I already show you like this and theme packs oh, sorry. boot animations so you can over on this thing so yeah this is very awesome now I can see it in different line sounds we get very different so they are very different sounds see volume steps here only you can increase it and here sim one ringtone so so I think every ringtone from the android is added here so there are many many ringtones no there are many new ringtones too and yes the sound quality of the device is always good because it's an old device and then some new devices like the samsung's uh, yeah samsung some mid ranges devices j7 the voice quality is not that good yeah i'm using that so i can set it to any other ringtone yeah <laughs> that's very good N going to b notification tones also we can see many notification tones yeah new also some are old and yeah we can get good notification sound other sounds you can get the charging sounds too yeah here you can enable and set any notification sounds yeah the last frequent notif uh, sorry less frequent notification sounds you can set about the time and you can also oh sorry sorry sometimes you can also vibrate for calls going to display and lights you see a brightness level adaptive display live display yeah same like you know, it's same and you can have the dashboard dashboard settings too so it's very awesome ambient display also here and advanced those options you can also they are enabled daydream font size expanded desktop and wallpaper these are very awesome notifications also you can hear heads up oh hello is not given here yeah that is in the uh, AICP extras and you can set it so these are normal one it is a lock screen and live lock screen you can also change your it's uh, only colors yeah you can see your colors only so you can add some from the play store mid screen shortcuts media cover and visualizer yeah you get the visualizer so buttons and you can disable hardware keys so they don't interrupt you but this button is working still see so i don't know how to disable this button so press power button and yeah in this button we get the same controls like the cm13 you see and uh, yes this video is getting bigger and bigger battery life is also very awesome and i've tested this and got a good battery life so i I suggest you to use this memory also I got 685 MB so I think on first boot we get some 700 MB this is a very small package and yeah for RAM management this ROM is must and I recommend you for if you are a heavy game user for use to play the games which support 1 GB try this and 1.5 GB also try this because this gaming uh, this is the uh, so this rom is for gamers yeah those gamers which like some more ram system profiles you can set and i think there is user support no there is no user support oh yeah there are user supports yeah i thought the cm and no user support you can change some status by here like the uh, center front and everything sorry not front center left the positions and fonts too use the privacy and privacy guard 
and this is the best option in CM uh, from very old time CM is you can set it uh, to new installed apps or you can set it like user apps and built-in apps and like uh, sir apps and here are some protected apps you can protect it with the lock uh, sorry pin lock so you can set it anything location date and time language and input here is the system container which i showed you the demo mode and sorry this is a demo mode and status bar only some icons which you want to show i will show you what is that yeah demo mode is nothing developer options you go here development tools only for those who know what to do here root access oh, sorry and let's move down here you will see the multi window mode somewhere here yeah so i have enabled this and now you can see the multi window is enabled for those apps who with support like the browser and let me take the uh, yeah messaging app okay i will clear this sorry for that and now also the multi window is not coming i think it needs a restart miss c and the options are not coming so i think it needs a restart and the multi window will work because uh, i have worked on that and our work on this wrong i means testing and the multi windows were working so if the multi windows and some functions are not working please comment i will see if something is wrong with this rom or so this was the aicp project and uh, android ice cold project for the galaxy mega 5.8 running on marshmallow and this is the last latest build please install this rom this is very awesome and multi windows revert yes i will show you now okay and i find out why multi windows were not working so you need to go to settings here go to aicp extras oh i think i need to grant it uh, super su so let us go here so yeah go to develop options Ma root access you go to apps and adb and manage root access okay now you need to go settings and go here to acp extras and now you can get here multi sheet you to go to floating windows and enable it and now you can use the multi window so this was about the multi window oh, we need two apps to get it run awesome as you can see now so this has crashed i think somewhere as you can see it runs very laggy because the multi window on android nougat is like a beta testing and it is still in the beta version the multi windows means highly experimental and the rom developer has uh, not added to some asp asp settings or extra multi windows like that so i hope it will be added uh, sorry uh, this is the last build so no hope so this is only the latest build for the asp rom and i hope the developers are building more roms like the android nougat uh, linux os is very popular and has become popular and now has came to the mega so in this video you got to know how to install the asp latest build so if you like this video please press the th like button and go down the link on the xd developers and thanks the developer too and comment for any queries or issues regarding this uh, download or anything happened and goodbye for today and please subscribe for more videos uh you can see the subscription button on this screen so goodbye